Hello everyone, welcome to h &S Automotive and thank you for taking an interest in this 2013 Ford Escape SEL. Um, so in this video, we'll do a quick walkthrough of this vehicle. I'll point out any imperfections the vehicle has, and then we'll also go over some of the major features and functions of the vehicle. So without further ado, we'll get started. Um, at first, I'll just kind of uh, walk around the vehicle, give you guys a general overview, and then after that, we will dive in a little bit deeper. So here we are coming around towards the driver's side of the vehicle. So the vehicle is currently running, um, as you guys can tell, very smooth running engine. Here we are coming around towards the back. And here we are towards the passenger side of the vehicle. All right, guys, moving in a little bit closer. Um, so we'll check out the front of the vehicle. Uh, before we get started, we would like to point out um, that this vehicle was in an accident. Um, so we had to replace the fender as well as the headlight and the mirror as well. Um, I guess something kind of scraped it uh, along the front side of the vehicle. Uh, the bump bumper uh, is original, so there was no damage to the bumper or anything like that. So it's an original bumper. Um, this uh, fender and mirror, they are um, OEM parts um, taken off of an existing uh, Ford Escape and same with the light as well. Just an added precaution, we did replace some of the suspension components uh, just to avoid any issues uh, in the future. Um, also this vehicle has had a four wheel alignment um, and it has uh, passed with flying colors, so no issues there. All right, now moving on to the front bumper. There's not really any damage or anything like that that I can see. There's no rock chips on the hood. Um, it is fairly low miles, so definitely shows. I believe this vehicle only has 77,000 miles. And we can confirm that once we climb inside. So here we are, once again, on the driver's side of the vehicle. There's not a whole lot to point out. The vehicle overall is in great condition. As you guys can tell, plenty of tread left on the tires. Um, no issues there. Um, the rim, there is some minor curbing on the rim. Nothing major, but uh, it is there. All right. uh, this vehicle is a four-wheel drive, so which is great for Wisconsin winters. Um, checking out the driver's side door. Um, I guess there's a minor little um, scrape right over here. Checking out the rear door of the vehicle. Um, there's not a whole lot that I can see. There's no scratches or dents or anything like that. Um, and then the same goes with the rear quarter panel. Overall, the vehicle is in great condition. Once again, great tires on the back too. All right, so checking out the rear of the vehicle. a windshield wiper for the rear window. Checking out the roof. Great condition. And the rear trunk area. Once again, this vehicle is a SEL trim level and it is an EcoBoost four-wheel drive. And we have some dual exhaust on the bottom. So moving on towards the passenger side. Um, so in this corner, there are some scrape marks, as you guys can see right over here. Um, nothing major, but uh, they are there. Um, checking out the passenger side, uh, rear quarter panel. Once again, nothing that I can see, no scratches or dents or anything like that. Um, there's a small little scratch right over here. rear passenger side door and then the front passenger side door um, I think there's a small little scratch right over here as well um, but other than those two scratches there's uh, not much else to point out um, 
So from here, let's climb into the vehicle and check out the interior. All right, so right over here, we have the driver's, do driver's door. Um, so this vehicle is equipped with uh, power windows as well as power mirrors and uh, power door locks as well. Uh, we also have uh, three memory settings for the driver's seat. So since this vehicle is an SEL, it will have a, quite a few bells and whistles. And here we are checking out the front seating area. Right, climbing into the vehicle. Seat belt on so it doesn't start dinging at me. All right. So, um, checking out the steering wheel. Um, we do have some steering wheel mounted controls. Um, right over here, you have the option of, you know, answering your phone uh, from the steering wheel. Uh, so this vehicle is equipped with Bluetooth. Um, and then on the left side of the vehicle, we have our steering wheel mounted cruise control. So it can be activated from right over here and then to accelerate, um, just push up and then to decelerate, just push down. Then we have some additional controls right over here. I believe they control the um, menu screen in the middle. Yep. So it just gives you the trip computer for the vehicle. Um, since we're at the dash, as you guys can see, this vehicle has uh, 78,000 miles. Um, there's no check engine light or any other warning lights. Um, the vehicle, the TPMS uh, sensor light is on. So that's just for the uh, tire pressure. Um, the tires uh, are inflated to the proper level, um, the light just... All right, guys. So on the left side, as you guys can see, we have our turn signal stock. And on the right side of the steering wheel, we have our wiper controls. Moving on towards the center of the dashboard, um, as you guys can see, this vehicle is equipped with the SYNC uh, Microsoft system. Um, very nice, uh, easy to use system for the vehicle. Um, in the middle, we have this screen. Um, so from here, you can control your audio system. This vehicle is equipped with AUX, AM, FM, as well as Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, the vehicle also has Sirius XM radio as well. Um, you get a nice little compass right over here. Um, and below that kind of tells you the uh, interior temperature or um, exterior temperature, I'm sorry. And the screen can be maneuvered from the controls right over here. Um, below that, we have our typical climate controls for the vehicle. Um, heat and AC work great, no issues there. Um, very easy to use system. Um, and then behind that, we have our transmission selector. The vehicle is an automatic uh, with the optional sport mode as well. And on the side of the steering, uh, I'm sorry, the gear lever, lever uh, you can see that you do have the option of uh, shifting the vehicle manually as well. And then right over here, as you can see, this vehicle is equipped with uh, heated seats for the driver and the passenger. And then we have a 12 volt um, outlet right over here. Behind that, we have our cup holders um, and then have our parking brake right over here. And this vehicle has some storage right here as well. All right, so just checking out the passenger seating area. Um, once again, very nice and clean vehicle. Um, so also this vehicle is equipped with quite a large uh, panoramic roof, um, fully functional. And we do have the option of closing the shade, you know, if you don't want the sun coming through. Very large panoramic roof. All right, so from here, we will check out the rear seating area. All right, guys, so here we have the rear door. Once again, power windows. Um, here we have the rear seats. And we also have some uh, pull-out cup holders right over here as well. The rear seats are also in very good condition. I don't think anybody's ever sat back here. From here, we will check out our view from the back. All right. 
plenty of room back here as well. No issues in that area. Checking out the trunk area of this vehicle. Um, so the trunk can be accessed from here. Uh, so it is a power trunk. So basically it kind of opens on its own. Um, plenty of storage room back over here. All right, nice and clean. So to power close the trunk, just press the button and it just closes on its own. Alrighty. Once again, guys, thank you for taking an interest in this 2013 Ford Escape. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, um, just shoot them our way and we will be happy to get those answered for you. Thank you very much and have a good day.